Hello, my name is Willie Farrell and I'm a senior software engineer in the IBM Developer Skills team. This demo is the eighth in a nine-part series that supplements the Developer Works Live Briefing Architecture Design and Construction using the IBM Rational Software Delivery Platform. In this series, you will see the demos that are performed as part of the live presentation of that briefing. In this demo, you will see some of the Java modeling capabilities of the Rational Construction Tools. In the demo, I use Rational Software Architect, but all the features you see in this demo are also in Rational Application Developer and Rational Systems Developer. First, we'll need to switch to the Java perspective. We'll create a Java modeling diagram in the project we created by transformation. Right click the Java sample package, select new class diagram. Name the diagram my class diagram and click finish. Now we can populate the diagram with the classes from the project. Use control click to select each of the classes. Then drag the classes onto the diagram. Double click the diagram tab to expand it. Now we can create some new classes in the Java project using the Java modeling capabilities. Hover the cursor over an empty part of the diagram. The Java modeling tools provide similar capabilities to the UML modeling tools, such as action bars. Of course, the action bars, palettes, etc. provide tools specific to Java modeling. On the action bar, select the class icon, the second from the left. This is the exact same dialog we would see in Rational Application Developer, or even Eclipse for that matter, when creating a new Java class. Here, however, we get the dialog when we visually create the class. Name the class another class and click finish. Now let's use the palette to create a class. Select class on the palette. Then click on the diagram below and to the left of another class. Again we get the new Java class dialog. Name the class a subclass 1 and click finish. We can also use the palette to create relationships between the classes on the diagram. Select Extends on the palette. Move the mouse cursor to A subclass 1, press and hold the left mouse button, move the mouse to another class, then release the left mouse button. Now let's use the connection handles to create a new class with a new relationship to another class, all in one action. Click on the connection handle with the arrow pointing towards another class. Then drag the cursor to a spot below another class and release the mouse button. On the menu that pops up, select Create Java Extends From, then select New Element Java Class. Name the class a subclass 2 and click Finish. Notice that the diagram does not show the association relationship between my class and its associated classes, my associated class 1 and my associated class 2. It only shows a use dependency. That's because it is displaying the associations as attributes of my class. You can display associations as attributes or as associations. Let's see how you can do that. First, right click on my associated class 1. Then select delete from diagram. Don't panic, we didn't delete the class from the model, only from the diagram. Now, select the My Associated Class 1 attribute on My Class. You'll know it's selected when it is highlighted. Now, right click on the highlighted attribute, select Filters, Show as Association. Now, the associated class and the association are displayed on the diagram and the attribute is not displayed on my class. Let's clean up the diagram. Right click on an empty spot in the diagram and select Arrange All. That's better. Double click on the diagram tab to return it to its normal size. From the main menu select File, Save All. Again select File, Close all. 
This completes the Java modeling demo. In this demo, you saw some of the Java modeling capabilities of the Rational Construction Tools.